Yeah, that's the talented cast of Hairspray with the Aracoma story in Logan. And they're getting ready for what is sure to be uh, a lot of sellout crowds. We are joined now by Bill France, who is the director of the show, and Shana Nelson, who plays the lead. Tracy, thanks for stopping by. This is just a thrill because you get to be here in costume. Yes. Was there ever any doubt that you were going to come here in costume? Um, no. No. <laughs> we weren't going to let her in the studio. She was not going to be allowed in the door without costume on because it's a fantastic show. We got to see you on stage. You sound terrific. Thank you. You look terrific. Thank is it a fun part? It is the funnest part. It's my dream role. It's my favorite role to play. I love it. And you've done this before, you said. Because I, I, I said, you just look so natural doing it. Have you done this before? Didn't know what the answer was going to be. You said yes. yes. Where, where else have you played this role? Um, around three and a half years ago, I played it for high, in my high school production. You're kidding. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. And from Logan County? I'm from Logan, yes. Okay, wow. Logan High School? Logan High School. She's a wildcat. I am yeah. a wildcat. Right. That's therefore, <laughs> Melanie, our director, would be happy because I have both the man shirt and the Logan shirt, and I'm not allowed to wear the man shirt around her, so <laughs> but you know how that means. You were hoping to attract a lot of people from Man and Freely from all over the county and outside the county. Yes. Uh, Bill, talk about the success of, of this company and how, you, how well you do during the summertime. You know, we have a beautiful facility at yeah. Chief Logan State Park, and it it seats about it seats well over 600 people yeah. and uh, the shows are just kind of part of our community uh, we've been at it for a long long time we've been down there in that facility since actually the mid 1970s <laughs> wow. and uh, doing uh, historical dramas as well as the musicals and you know and that's really saying something that you've been able to keep up the crowds because it, you know it goes without saying that that just like so many counties in our area You've lost a tremendous number of people. You know, the, there's just been an outflux of people from the county, and yet you're maintaining those numbers and bringing even new people in who haven't been to shows before, people from outside. That says a lot about the quality of these shows, right? Absolutely. Um, I, I think that, you know, our, our area, as many areas, have been hit hard yeah. uh, economically, but I think one thing that people uh, tend to gravitate toward in those situations is they, they want to go have the escapism and sure. have a good time and have a yep. moment to laugh and, and you know, yep. enjoy themselves. So if somebody hasn't seen the show, um, what can they expect? What, if they don't know this show, even, may, oh, I think I've heard about it, but if they don't know the show, what can they expect? What do you, what do you tell people when they say, well, what's it about? Um, Hairspray is a show set in 1962 and mm -hmm. it follows um, a plus size teenager, Tracy Turnblad, and her road to becoming a dancer on her favorite um, TV show. And it deals with a lot of subject matter that everybody needs to hear about, bullying, racism, everybody being treated equal. And you can leave the show with laughter and love, and it's just a feel good show. And uh, how much spray does it take to make all the hair pieces <laughs> and the wigs and the things, the, the costumes that everybody has to say? There must just be a cloud backstage. I mean, it must truly be hairspray. <laughs> it is truly hairspray yeah. on stage and off stage. Yeah, it's so much fun, though, to, to do that role, isn't it? It really is. Yeah, that's a good time. <laughs> and now, as far as the uh, amphitheater goes in Chief Logan State Park, there, there are a lot of amphitheaters around our area. But this one really is, is special and really different um, because it also hosts, the, if, if I'm right, is it also hosts the Aracoma story. Absolutely. Later our, on this summer. Our uh, historical drama about our local area, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, we have been uh, doing that show at the amphitheater. Uh, it originally uh, goes back to the 50s uh, for the first presentation, but we've been there since 1976 uh, doing the shows. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you so much for both coming in. It's, it's wonderful. We have the info on the show that we'd like to show you, and uh, it will be Thursday through Sunday. So that's June 8th, 9th, 10th, and 11th. And then also then the following week, June 15th, 16th, 17th, and 18th, it is at the uh, Liz Spurlock Amphitheater in Chief Logan State Park. The tickets are $12 for uh, adults. Uh, students and seniors, it's 10 bucks. And children under the age of 10 get in for $6. And uh, you're hoping to get a lot of the parents and kids there, too. Yes. Because yeah. that's the thing. It's about a show like this. It's an important message. It really is. And it's a great message to get out to kids. Yes. And their parents, too. Yes. It's a show for all ages. It truly is. Yeah. So. Yeah. And then uh, the next show will be Greece. Yes. Yeah, that's going to be some good times too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So hopefully you'll be back. Yes. In the studio. Absolutely. You bring bring a cast member back, or two, or three, or maybe have a little number here. Okay. All right. I'd love to. Oh, right, we're going to hold him to it. Thanks, Bill. <laughs> Thanks a lot. And thank you both for coming in. Thank you. In.